Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Paleo with Pals. As you may know with Paleo with Pals, I get to come over and hang out with my friends and um, you get to experience some of their amazing paleo dishes. As you may know, my dishes are really simple and for the woman or man that doesn't get along with the kitchen, well, my girlfriends can really cook and I get the pleasure of hanging out with them in their home and showing you something a little bit more gourmet than what you're used to. So today I'm here with one of my best friends. This is Anita. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to give you a little bit of background here because it's really important to me is I would not be standing in front of this camera doing this video for you right now if it wasn't for Anita. Anita was the one that pushed and pushed and pushed for me to start my YouTube channel and I'm so grateful for that and you really gave me this constant belief in me and just do it and do it and I mean this is years, yeah. <laughs> not months, years of bullying. <laughs> <laughs> because she's made, you're made for the camera, uh -oh. I mean it's, you're I'm made for it. the camera. And we're very lucky that you give so much of yourself to this channel. And I don't think people looking on the other side could be really aware of just how much you give. You know, you make it look simple, but it's a lot of energy and we're very grateful. See, that's why she's doing my best friend. <laughs> but it's true, it's true. So, darling, what are we cooking today? We're cooking uh, paleo prawn curry. It's, uh, the reason we've chosen paleo prawn curry is because when I show you the basis of the sauce, you'd pretty much be able to cook any curry in that way. So if you wanted to do that for chicken or lamb or a vegetable dish, the basis would be the same. That's great, That's I like that. Doing. I like that it's um, transferable. Yeah. Now before we get started, I did. Of course. Today I did, I bought the skinny champagne, but I know you like Prosecco, so this Thank is you. the skinny Thank Prosecco. You. Happy anniversary to me. Oh, 27 years. 27 years. Happy anniversary, You get less Dally. for murder, don't you? Mmm, that's really so good, really skinny. good. Mmm. Very little or no sugar in that. Mm. It's really good. Okay, so what are we using today? So we're using uh, extra virgin coconut oil for our base. Then we're going to add our garlic and we're going to add cumin seeds. I love using cumin seeds in Indian cooking and for me, the more the better. Uh, I'm very liberal, liberal with it, but I wouldn't use powder, I would use whole cumin seeds and it tastes very different. Then we'll be mixing onions and ginger, chili and tomato. And that is what will form the basis of your paste. Spice-wise, we'll be using turmeric, Himalayan salt and chili. It's actually oh. not that, you know, it's not that much, but it will give a very flavoursome curry. That's great, because I'm not, I am not confident with curries oh. because I don't do them enough. I've enjoyed many of yours, yep. but I, cooking them, I'm not confident. So mm. I'm really excited to see how it's done. And I love this, it's all so pretty. I yeah, love, it's so pretty. It looks and gorgeous. the children would enjoy this because all you do is use less chili, but what's really good about it is it's one pot cooking and it's very quick. Yes. Very, very quick. I love yeah. that. See, easy, but yep. still a little gourmet. Yep. Today it's a beautiful summer's day, but wherever, wherever you are in the world, it might be winter. So whether you use this to warm your heart mm -hmm. or what you're thinking today is perhaps putting it in a lettuce wrap. Absolutely. You know I love my lettuce wraps. You know I mm -hmm. live on lettuce yep. is my bread. Yep. Um, but you could also do this with cauliflower rice. Yep. Another staple in, in my paleo diet. Uh, and I would probably do it raw. Mm. Or, mm. Or, or, I like raw. I like raw um, cauliflower because the food is cooked. It gives a nice alternative texture. And a little crunch. And a crunch, yeah. I like that. And I, the lettuce is what you've got me onto because you know I was addicted to bread. <laughs> and occasionally when Kelly's not looking, I still cheat. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but you really have helped me because it gives that same crunch, that same feeling, texture, without any of the nasties. It's, it's good. It's yeah. like a burger, like a, really like a sandwich, like... And today a nice wrap. So we start with our virgin coconut oil. Now, how That'll much you use of this, I'm using two spoons of it, but you can use really as little or as much as you want. You just want enough that the onions can be caramelized in it. That's really fundamentally why it's there. Because in fact, the tomato will do the job of the, the curry uh, the binding cream. and thickening but you do want enough that the onions can caramelize. Now, just while the oil is heating up, something, yeah. um, I did that, a video on Morley Rituals mm -hmm. and Ayurveda um, lifestyle, I guess. Mm -hmm. You spoke about these superfoods yeah. to suit your dosha. Mm -hmm. Will we be using one today? Absolutely. Uh, with a curry like this, and I think it's better anyway to keep the superfood raw, 
So I would never add it in because okay. you don't want to kill the enzymes in this superfood. Okay. I would sprinkle it on top. And that, again, is to go with how much you want. You know, you're quite seasoned with good food, so you will not mind having quite a bit on top. The taste won't bother you at all. But for someone like our children, when I put it in my son's food, I mix it in a little bit, but okay. only a little because he's a fuss pot and he might pick it up. So, uh, yeah, we just put it on top. And what one have we chosen today and why? Today we've chosen uh, Transform and Transcend, which is the pitta one, which is the cooling one. Uh, it's a very hot day, so it's a good one to choose. Now, it's a bit of an oxymoron because we are making a hot curry mm. and that is not great for pitta. So we would go easy on the chilli. Okay. Uh, we'll go easy on the chilli powder and the raw chilies as well. So the oil do. is nice and hot now, so we're adding cumin seeds. You can see them sizzling straight away, so we know the oil is nice and hot. Okay, so one, and two, I'm adding, three, I'm, these are only teeny little spoons. spoons. I mean, yeah. I'm adding four because I love oh. cumin. I could pretty much just drink it. Oh. Cumin is very, very good for you, and I, I like the way it makes my food taste. It needs very little. So cumin added. Now we're going to add the garlic. Sizzling. Hello, Bitu. Bitu's here. He, he's come in just in time for food. Very smart. This is Bitu. Hello. 27 years Today. with that one. Happy anniversary. Ask him what he got me. Ask him what he got me. <laughs> just ask him publicly what did he get me. Well, there's a Dyson on its way, don't worry. There's a Dyson on the way. I had a Dyson hair dryer already. Now I might be getting the actual... Yeah, very good. So that's the Such garlic. Romantic. Such a romantic. I'm, I'm really hoping he's joking, but he may not be. I hope he's joking. Uh, I don't think he is. And now we're adding the onions in. Okay. And onions, we want them to get golden brown, caramelized, before we do anything else. So when you caramelize, you do, do you do it on a high heat the whole time? Is yeah. that the idea? Yeah, okay. I do it on a high heat. And keep an eye on it, obviously. Um, and just wait for that to be nice golden brown. Uh, I actually will keep it on a lowish heat because this is quite a powerful hob. Um, and you recommend to cook all this just as a wok? Is it yeah, I like any to, type of wok that you recommend? Uh, I like a wok because the food can move around easily, you know, it's not all con constrained. Um, we've always used these in my home, so it's something I'm just, I've grown up with. And if anybody it's wants to one. buy, yeah, if you want to buy one, Kelly, anything like this, all these lovely things that we put our spices in, if you're in London, head to either Ealing Road, which is in West London, it's not far from here at all, or yes. head to Southall, which is also west, but slightly further. Uh, and in every country, in every city, you'll probably find a little India, okay, and you'll, yes. you'll be able to buy these spice pots. It just makes it very easy for you to figure out what you need. And do you keep it covered usually? Yeah, yes. we keep it covered. They come with a lid, so... Um, and these are actually really good, um, even if you want to put other Not types of Himalayan things in them yeah, yeah always Himalayan salt and a tip with Himalayan salt you would never use as much as normal table salt because it's much more salty so you don't need as much um, <laughs> that's good to know yeah. a few years later <laughs> that's still it we might delicious. yeah it does smell good already yeah so the garlic's cooking quicker isn't yes it, then... yeah and now we will add the ginger mm -hmm. and that can cook with it and what was that was that a just Tablespoon. fresh chopped um, again ginger a lot of people really love ginger my father-in-law would tell you don't use too much he's an Ayurvedic doctor as you know he would say don't use too much because you don't want to become immune to the benefits of ginger because That's he treats it as a medicine yes so while in Indian cooking we do use ginger and everything he would say limit the use so the body still takes the goodness from it and doesn't take it for granted. Yes. And was that one whole onion in there or two? Actually, I used um, three M&S onions. Okay. Um, for the, right. But we're cooking quite a fair bit of corn. Yes. Yeah. If you were cooking it for a family of four, then one would be plenty. And again, it depends how thick you want your sauce. Mm. You might just want a very dry sauce, in mm. which case one would be no, enough. It looks great. That's yeah, great. so you can, sm you can smell it already. And my father used to like to eat the, the curry sauce without anything actually well, that's just gross. on its own and it is delicious and like without that a prawn or a without prawn or chicken oh, another thing you could do is make a big batch on a sunday and freeze them in little yes. tupperware or bags and then just bring them out when you need them and just and then add and then the just meat, yeah the fresh meat exactly yeah, yeah. that makes it idea. super quick and you haven't got the chopping and the you know any of that to worry about each time and i think that's really important for 
us mums on yeah. the run, you know, however many, one child, three child, 10,000 children. Yeah. It's just been a little bit organised. And your, Le well, your friend Lexi has five children, doesn't five. she? Five. She Bold cooked piece. on and she looks amazing. She does. Oh my goodness. She does. Yeah. Lexi did a lot of drinking with pals, didn't she? <laughs> I, think, I think we need to do that. And here's I to think, Lexi. I think. <laughs> drinking with here's pals. Lexi. Yeah. So now I'm speeding it up as tiny bit can you see how brown they are yes which yes. is fine I'd but they're not too they're not too brown, ordinarily yeah. i might wait a little bit longer but this is fine and now what we'll do is we'll put in our tomatoes so chopped tomatoes yeah chopped tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, yeah. sorry about the heat and stir that and you've all heard of turmeric that's another i i can't think of any dish i can't think of a single dish that i cook without turmeric when I'm cooking Indian food, of course. And that's a, so many benefits, again. It's an adaptogen, which means it reduces stress in the body. Okay. And adaptogens adapt to what the body needs. And now we've added the uh, tomatoes. We're going to add our Himalayan salt. Yeah. I would add a couple of spoons in this much. Pink you, Himalayan. Pink Himalayan salt. You, you do that to taste your, your call. And I've added turmeric. And now we're going to add chili. But I'm going to keep it light because... Yes. I can't uh, have too much fire. No, belly. she's already fiery, so we don't want it, you know, in a good way, in a good way. <laughs> Debatable. You can't know because fire is passion, right? And what would the world be without passion? And I mean that. A loveless world. I don't think that you could produce a good video without passion. Thank you. You couldn't. It would be really bland. So, okay, now we're putting the prawns in. Okay. How many would this feed? This would feed probably, obviously the prawns will go down in size, yeah. so this would probably feed, I would say, six, very comfortably. Yeah. Yeah, six, yeah. Um, and th it is literally as simple as that. So now we're mixing the prawns in. See, I think curry, I immediately, when I arrived, I said, oh, is he, are you using coconut milk or coconut cream? No. Nope. And it's nothing no. enough. It depends on the region as well, yes. you know. So some regions they'll use a lot of cream, some regions they even use sugar because they like it sweet, sweet. and sour, mm. which I'm not a fan of. Mm. Uh, some regions like Punjab will use a lot of sauce and a lot of chili. So it really depends on where what in area? India, okay. which area. Traditionally in the UK, when you think of the curry house, you're talking about from, it's Bengali restaurants tend to serve that, but it's quite Punjabi style cooking, okay. the north of India. Yeah, and, and how easy was that? So easy. How easy was that? I mean, so is there any more spices you add to that? Now, what we do, we now let this, uh, now I'll put this on a high heat. We'll let this cook, and at the very end, we will add uh, coriander. And again, I like a lot of coriander. Yes. What I do with mine, because it wilts very, very quickly, and I don't, you know, you, if I'm cooking one curry, I don't need a whole bunch of coriander so I just put it chop it and put it in the freezer I like that I yeah. saw that because it's, it's yeah it's been frozen but when it gets in there it's gonna yeah have, you're not gonna lose the flavor at you're all? not gonna lose the flavor I, I took this coriander coriander out just before we started cooking in an ideal world I would have taken it out at the moment of wanting to throw it in okay it's okay. not doesn't make that much difference but it would be better now some people would add tamarind which is that sweet bitter taste that makes you go like that with your okay, eyes. Tamarind. I'm not a big fan of tamarind. Uh, some people love it, but I use a dash of lemon instead. Okay, uh, at the end? At the end, yeah. Okay. Just a dash of lemon. And that really is all you need to do. How long did that take us? That's so quick. People say, I haven't got time to cook. There is no way you have not got time yes. to cook that. Exactly. Good, Good point. point. Yeah. If you haven't got time to cook that, something is wrong. You know? <laughs> Actually, I have to say, even in the hardest times in my life, I don't remember not being able to cook yes. because it's when you feel that you're giving your family what they need, isn't it? Mm. And so it, Man, I make a chicken for Manav actually. I don't eat meat myself. In Ayurveda, by the way, they don't say you can't eat meat. You know, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a belief that Hindus don't eat meat. Some don't eat meat, but we, if we do eat meat, we eat it for medicine, not for flavor. Okay. Like you wouldn't say, mm, I fancy a nice bit of chicken. You would say my body is depleted in that protein. You need to feed I it. need to feed it and therefore you won't have it very often. Mm. But it's not that you don't have it. That's your call, you know. That's right. That is a choice. That is a choice, yeah. Obviously we would eat organic, we would eat sustainable yes. and all of yes, that. Of but uh, my son needs chicken. 
Mm. He eats chicken when I was pregnant. I had to have chicken. And after that, I've not needed it anymore. So it's, you know, it's like... Yeah. What, listen to your body. Listen to your body, exactly. Means. We've been cooking this for about, I'd say about four or five minutes mm -hmm. now, right? You tell me if that flavor's right for you. Do you want more salt? Do you want oh. more chili? Do you want anything? Mm. And see, oh you God, can no. see the children could have that, right? Perfect. Yeah. Can I take some home for my daughter? Of course you can. Now at the end, I'm adding the coriander and okay. quite a bit of it. Yes. And I'll add some fresh tomatoes just at the very end. And I will also then add a dash of lemon. I love lemon on pretty much all my food, Indian food, really. But that, again, that's a preference. But that's why we do it. But just when you're cooking fish or shelled fish, or do you put lemon on? I put lemon on. You know, you know, I love lentils because yes. I, I don't eat meat, and it's not yes. very paleo people. But <laughs> it's not paleo, and I confess that sometimes it does make my tummy bloat. But you know, and all my friends are not necessarily paleo, but yeah. you've all been so gracious when you host a dinner party and, and you make paleo dishes yes. for me, which as you can see are not hard, yeah. you know. Do you remember we did aubergine once yes. when you came over, which beautiful. again is really easy because you would do the onions in the same way that we've just done. And then what you would do is put the aubergine in the oven, let it cook, mm. peel it, pulp it and mix it in the sauce. And that's... That's right. Like our vegetarian. version of a baba mm. ganoush type thing, mm. you know, that's an Indian version. And again, in wraps. Yes. So really, really simple. So that's it done. Mm. That simple. Now Did try. You do your lemon? I'll do lemon at the end then. Okay. I do lemon to taste at the end because you may not like it. You may not want it. Now, do you want more chili in there? Do you want more salt? You can always add a bit at the end. I don't, I don't know what to add. It tastes so good. It tastes good, right? Yeah. It's good and it's light. Yes. You won't feel like going to it's bed not too, after for it. For me, it's not too spicy. No. I'm not a, like no. a person that loves a lot of chili. When Bitu comes in, we'll add spice for him because okay. he would want that. Yes. And again, you can add a dash to the top. Mm -hmm. And for you, we could add a dash of the I'd alchemy. Love, I would love some soup. Yep. So, it. Yep. So <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just plate it like this. Um, you don't want with lettuce today? Well, I'm going to have some like that, and then I thought we'd do a little lettuce wrap for the sure. children. Sure, yeah, good idea. And do take some home. And oh, you put it on after? Yeah, the I put the lemon on after. I mean, even, to be honest, just on its own? Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. That with a little bit of cauliflower rice oh, it'd be, underneath It'd be delicious well. with that. Yeah. And in a wrap. Also, what I love about this is we literally used one dish, and now we're spooning it out into the lettuce wrap, and we are done. And it looks really pretty, huh? That is um, perfect for the children yeah. and for me. I don't know if I want the wrap or if I want it on its own. <laughs> it just looks, and it will give that little bit of crunch and a little bit of a summer feel. If you had that lovely creamy thing on top, it'd be really Actually, nice. that's really yeah. nice. The, the koi, koyo, because mm -hmm. I do that on tacos and all of that. Yeah, really nice. Mm. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit with um, some mm. coriander. You, dr you eat, I will drink. Mm. It is good, right? So good. The coriander, it's just like the icing on the cake. I love it. Oh. I love it. And that lemon, that little bit of lemon. Thank you so much, darling. Really appreciate it. Loved it. Paleo prawn curry. Remember, if you've enjoyed this video, I make lots of other videos on paleo and beauty. Um, so please subscribe and you can find me on social media at memore.tv. You're not just pretending for the camera, right? <laughs> no. <laughs>